delivers every time at this stage. You know, indoors, she's so well suited for it. She gets out really quick. Um, she's one of those women that has run over, over seven seconds. Um, she is very, very dangerous. Okay, that's what these guys think at Steve Cram. It is, uh, it's a wide open race, isn't it? But um, hopefully it will be a fitting spectacle to the end of our first full day here in Birmingham. Yeah, just to pick up, uh, Gary, I think you were uh, referring to the best times ever. Nobody has run under seven seconds and um, it would be unusual. Uh, it's been a while. Actually, Shelley Ann Fraser Price, uh, a couple of championships ago, ran under seven. There's only uh, nine people have ever run under seven seconds, but two of them are in the field. As you said, Ahure and Thompson have done it in the past. So how quick will they go here? Well, Ahure in lane four. She has to turn silver into gold here. She's twice won silver medals at the World Indoor Championships. Of course, Talu, her teammate, has twice last year won a silver medal outdoors as well. So Ivory Coast have never won a gold at a major champ. So could this be the first time? Cambungi in the middle of them for Switzerland, but don't forget Elaine Thompson, the Olympic champion, and Daphne Skippers, the world champion over 200 metres there in lanes so, three and two. Uh, Ahura gets the best start, Elaine Thompson is right alongside of Richard Hill, he's leading this catchy hold up. It's going to be gold for Ahura, and a one two for the Ivory Coast. 6.97! Muriel Ahura has finally done it! Her country will be so proud, it's gold and silver for Ivory Coast. And Muriel Ahure has run one of the quickest ever 60 metres. Superb performance, a brilliant start, never headed. The, the rest were chasing her home. And look what that means to her. She's a brilliant 60 metre runner. Talu gets the silver. And that will go with the two she won outdoors last year. And she'll be as delighted as a teammate, I'm sure. There she goes. Your 60 metre running is a special skill. And there are lots of great people who've never been able to combine that and outdoors. We've talked about some of them, the likes of Nelly Kuman. I guess you can go back in this, uh, the beginnings of these World Indoor Championships. But Ahure's got to be one of the best ever now. And she can put herself right up there with all those other big names particularly with that performance today, Colin. Yeah, it was an outstanding performance there by Ahure. And Kumbunji from Switzerland sneaking in to take that bronze medal. A really good, strong performance by this lady. Very, very nice to see, but there's our gold and silver medals. Ahure moves up from ninth on the all-time list to seventh with that time of 6.97. A world lead, and boy, oh boy, what an indoor season that young lady has had. We'll have another chance to have a look at it, Colin. But you know, the the signs were there in the semi-final that she's you know coming here on the top of a game. I've always wondered whether she's ever quite had the belief sometimes, you know, that she can. You know, obviously, Elaine Thompson was in this, but she's had some great people to race against. And to be fair, the last time she won a silver, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Price ran 6.98 in the final. So it's not as though she hasn't been beaten by good people. But you know, this was a chance she had to seize this time round, and she's just found out Kabun she got the bronze. <laughs> oh, it's really exciting, Rob, as well. It's just brilliant to see this. You know, they've worked hard all the way through the season, just edging their way through, haven't they? Taking the victories when it matters. Kambunji set a new national record at the indoor championships of 703. When it came to it, at the world indoors, she produces another good strong performance, 705 for the Swiss. Great performance, but there's our gold and silver medalist. There's silver medalist, Talu and Ahure at long last taking this gold medal. Well deserved, a good quality athlete. She's just unfortunately, Steve, as you mentioned, been in an era when there's been some great, great sprinters from Jamaica, from the United States, of course, Daphne Skippers in the 200 as well. But now this could be the turning point for Ahure. Yeah, not many times you'll say that Elaine Thompson and Daphne Skippers in a race don't get a medal at all. Have another look at it, Colin. She's just a brilliant exponent of this. Full of confidence, great run in the semi-final. And she just did exactly what she knew she was capable of. Accurate at the beginning, out of the blocks, really hard, very fast. Get into that good cadence that she has. Watch this bang. She doesn't go from side to side. Look at that, virtually straight as an arrow. 
keeping focus, all power going in the exact place where it needs to be. Focused, hard. Don't want to put any stress or strain. She knows that there's Elaine Thompson in this. She's the Olympic champion. She knows she's capable of closing her down, but it's not going to happen on this occasion. Hard, drive. Look at that, well-focused, determined. Work, 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 all the way through to the line. Nothing Elaine Thompson could do on this occasion. Ohure was out hard, aggressive, controlled, and takes a very good victory. 697, a world leading performance. Well, when you come and win your first ever gold medal at the World Championships for your country, never mind yourself individually, you do want to do it with this sort of performance. This is a top 10 ever performance from Muriel Uhure. Talu with the silver and Kambunji the bronze there. Brilliant uh, performances from those two as well. So enjoy this from Ahure. May just signal something from her in the summer as well because she can do well over 100 meters also. So there is the confirmation. Actually, just five thousandths of a second between Kambunji and Talu, who herself was rewarded with a personal best as well as that silver medal and a world leading 6.97 for the gold medal for Muriel Ahure. First ever gold for the Ivory Coast. Well, you talk about being born in different areas.